adding acetate to your projects can be tricky. It's almost as if you need to be a magician. You need to stick it down, but no one wants to know how you've done it. This used to be way too much trouble for me, so I avoided using these kinds of embellishments altogether. Hey creative friends, it's Gwen. In today's video, you'll learn my secret to adding acetate to your projects without having to go to magic school. These supplies have been very generously sent to me by Crazy Craft Obsession. They are an Australian craft store that specialize in scrapbooking, paper crafts, and mixed media. They ship Australia wide and also to New Zealand. I'll be sure to leave a link in the description box below so you can go and check out the amazing supplies they have on offer. Today I'm working with Pink Fresh Studios Sunshine on My Mind collection and in particular these beautiful acetate pieces. I have a plan to use up a bunch of these on a layout and it's going to be a very summery themed one. I'm also working with a cut file from cut to You. Details on that are in the description box below. Now I have gone ahead and planned out the layout and that's really important when working with acetate because your options really are limited with this particular supply. I find that they really work best when they're added flat to the background of your layout. So you do have to map that out very early in the design process. I am going to add some Distress Oxide ink to my background and I really wasn't sure which way to go with this. I knew I wanted like a warm summer color, but I was very concerned about how the acetate would sit on top of the color that I chose. Many of the acetate pieces had multiple colors in them. So whilst maybe the pink looked good on top of the yellow ink, the yellow um, section of the acetate on top of the yellow ink kind of blended together. So I ended up going with this really pale pink. I know it's a color I use a lot and I really wanted to try and use a different color for this layout, but I just couldn't get one that would work on all of the different shades that were in the acetate pieces that I wanted to use. So I'm working here on a very plain crisp white background and then I'm going to use a blending brush to build out the tone of the color underneath the area that's going to have the acetate pieces. What I have done too is pulled out a bunch of them. I didn't want to use just one for my title, which you could absolutely do, but I was on a bit of a mission to get many of the pieces in this pack used up. You'll see them here in a moment. The reason I mention it now though, is you have to actually plan a little bit ahead with this. You have to know where the acetate is going to go on the layout so that you can position the ink in the, in the same spot directly behind it. So I did end up choosing five different acetate pieces and I really love how they all nestle together. And now comes the trickiest part, attaching the acetate to the background. I'm going to use the smallest amount of glue possible. Imagine the smallest amount of glue that you could get out of the tip of this glue bottle and then halve that. I'm not exaggerating, you want the tiniest of tiny bit of glue. You also need to be super strategic about where you place the glue. So these are letters that are placed on like a clear background. So all of the glue that I'm going to place will be behind a printed element on the acetate. So behind a letter essentially in this example. Also be sure to choose the darkest printed part of the acetate. So say you've got, see that one that says sun and fun? Don't put your glue behind the yellow in sun, put the glue behind the fun word because it's a deeper orange tone. The glue will be far less obvious if you place it behind a dark color on the acetate. If you follow those tips, you will be able to add acetate anywhere on your layout and have it be almost invisibly attached, which is exactly what we're going for. That is, however, not my favorite way to attach acetate. I actually like to do it another way, which I'll get to in a moment. 
we need to talk layout design first and this one is quite a vertical design. I have placed my photo on top of the stacked acetate title elements and then I have added in the sun to the left of the photo. I felt like the people in the photo were looking sort of down towards the bottom left hand corner of the layout so it did make sense to put them more towards the right hand side of the page. I am going to use the sun too as a bit of a base for an embellishment cluster. If you ever add in acetate pieces to your embellishment clusters, they are really easy to glue down because what you can do is add the glue in between your layers. So just make sure that you pop it onto the acetate in a position that's actually going to be hidden by something else on top of it. It's nice too because it adds in a bit of a different texture to your cluster. So if you've got lots of layers that are papery, it's a really nice element that you can add into your cluster to give it a bit of dimension and interest. The cluster that you see on the left of the photo is going to be my main embellishment cluster. I will want to balance that out though. So I am going to make a smaller cluster, a smaller point of interest down the bottom of the layout on the right hand side there. As I build that out, I'm looking at a couple of things. I'm looking for a color balance. So I'm thinking about the colors that I've already got happening in the layout and how I can balance the tones out. I'm also looking at size and shape of the elements because I really want everything to nestle together in that bottom section of the page. Oh yes, and you can see just how little glue I use. My main goal for that whole bottom section of the layout was to have everything nestled together. It's almost like a puzzle. Of course, I'm going to make sure everything is nice and straight. I am working on a plain white background here, so I don't even have like a reference point in a pattern or print to go on. So I do need my T-square ruler to help with that. They do say that the devil is in the detail and I really feel that when you're precise with elements, it makes the end product look more professional. Think precise, not perfect. This collection also has a bunch of really cute puffy stickers. So I wanted to add those to this page and I feel like they lend themselves very well in this situation because I have a very flat area at the bottom of the layout. It is layered because I have my background, my mixed media, and then the acetate, but it is not very textured. It's not very dimensional. The puffy stickers will help with that. I've added four in that bottom section and I'm mixing and matching some of the little summary icons. So there's a little watermelon on the right and the sunglasses at the bottom there, they are puffy sticker as well. But I also added in a couple more titles. I really like the look of the layered titles and the fact that I've mixed that acetate with the puffy sticker, it turned out super cute. I'm not quite done yet, but I do want to lock into position those elements that I'm happy with. I also use this point as a bit of a reset. I will often uh, walk away, make a cup of tea and then come back and just see the layout with fresh eyes to make sure that the finishing touches that I add will balance everything out and finish off the layout nicely. Do you do that? Do you take a break in between your scrapbooking or do you sit down and make a layout from start to finish without a break? Let me know in the comments below. I'd love to know how you do it. I am going to continue to build out the clusters. I do end up adding a couple of really fun summer icons on this layout, which is quite different to the first layout that I did with this collection. If you missed that video, I'll leave a link to it below. I really did focus on the florals in the collection for that layout. So I feel like this one is a little more fun. It, it uses those really cute summery icons and I really run with it. As I continue to work on that, I need to tell you about my favorite way to add acetate to a layout, and that is by stitching it in place. I would recommend gluing it into position first because you can get some movement in the sewing machine. So glue it down first and then you can just run it through your sewing machine like you would any other embellishment. 
I really love the look of it and it adds this beautiful texture to the page. I've included a bunch of close-up images here for you so you can see that stitching, you can see the layers of the acetate pieces and of course the embellishment clusters. I've also included some enamel dots from the collection and those butterflies I actually added off camera, those are from my stash. So that was just one simple idea for scrapbooking summer. If you're short on time and looking for loads more inspiration, you need to watch this video next. I'll flip through 35 summer layouts that are sure to inspire. I'll see you all again very soon. Until then, bye.